Hey everyone, it's Ashleena. Welcome back to my channel. Happy The Warning Wednesdays. So if you're not aware, I do a poll on Patreon for everything to do with Aurora Tuesdays and The Warning Wednesdays. And I wanted to take a break from The Warning Wednesday poll just for this week because I just wanted to finish the last two songs for Pepsi Center. But also a couple of other things came out while I decided to take this break. And I filmed them all. I filmed The Warning doing the cover of You Oughta Know by Alanis Morissette, so that is live at the exact same time this is. I filmed that in advance of this, obviously. I filmed it the day it came out. I was so excited. So that's live. Uh, not sure if it will get blocked, but if it does, it's on Patreon. Also, after filming this video, I'm going to film Danny on stage with Hailstorm. I'm so excited to see it. I had about like 50 people share the video with me, but multiple videos. So I'm on Discord asking people what the best version is because obviously I can't go through them if I'm reacting to it. So hopefully it's a good version. Hopefully I pick a good one. Um, but if not, we'll blame the Discordians. Yes, that's what you're called, Discordians. I kind of wanted to give a quick little shout out to Phil Zero because he mentioned me in his last video of watching Freeze the Falls song Glitch. And it just makes my heart happy knowing that you know he's just starting out this YouTube journey and he's killing it killing it but also he's hopping on the freeze the fall bandwagon and I am stoked I just think it's so exciting when Canadian reactors are doing well I'm very proud of you guys okay let's watch the last two songs from the Pepsi Center which is very exciting so we're gonna watch Evolve and Narcissista now the thing is is the Pepsi Center obviously is just phenomenal but I am curious I've been told on their patreon they have released it in full now my question to you is is there anything missing from the full version that wasn't on these individual videos like time in between songs, any more chats, etc. Because if that's the case, I think I might just do a live stream and watch the whole thing again, which is not a bad idea. But if there really isn't anything else, is there a point? So I'm leaving that in your hands. You guys let me know. But always happy to watch it in full again with you. All right, so let's get into Evolve. I know this is going to be great, but ugh, these videos have just been phenomenal. It's crazy this is like their encore so the show's almost over which is very sad all right let's do it
her guitar. Come on, pal. It's so good, it's always so good. Oh my god, get it! Yes, Danny! She's so happy, Pow is so happy. I think Evolve is such a great pick for an encore song. Evolve is just one of those songs that gets the crowd hyped up. Obviously, Pow does her little chat to get everyone going. There's, you know, the scream that she does. There's Danny's little guitar solo part. It's just one of those songs that makes you so excited. The dopamine is off the charts. And I feel like you leave their show with a high. Even if Evolve isn't the last song, that song is just in the perfect spot. I think they are masters at their set list. They have a lot of music, but they are masters at the ordering of this show. I think it's incredible. To end it with Narcissista, especially since they're in Mexico, brilliant idea. I think leaving the show after Narcissista, people are going to just be... Like hopping around partying. Like they are in such a great mood. I think it's just so smart. So let's get into Narcissista. Let's see if there was anything said at the end of the show. A little bow, the selfie at the end. I'm curious. And if it's not, I'm curious if it's in like the full length version because that would be really cool to see. I would also love to see a behind the scenes of this show. I think they need to start doing more of those. I don't know if they've film them. I know they used to do a lot of stuff like that, um, but it would just be really nice to see like the moments before going on stage, the moments during Pow's performance, the moments during Danny's performance, solo performances, of course, when they leave the stage before they come back for the encore, just little things like that. Those are my favorite things to see. I really wish they would start doing that. But again, that's a little invasive. So if they don't, it's okay. But I don't know. I think it'd be cool to see what was going on, especially because they were all sick and not feeling good. Um, Yeah, just curious. All right, let's do Narcissista. Little bass solo? Okay. I like this moment. This is cute. Very simplistic. Oh, I love that. Shut up. The way she just appeared because of the lighting, that's sick. The light show, man. So good. I got chills.
voice sounds amazing. show. Oh, good. We get to What's see the bell. I feel like that was very rushed. I have a feeling because no one can get behind their drum quick uh, kit that quickly. The full version might have them like getting to that section, doing their bow, maybe the pose for the camera part. I hope it does because it looks like it was filmed. So you guys better put that in there. <laughs> Listen, I have to say, this show, honestly, the best show I've ever seen from them, obviously. It is by far the best show. And it's crazy because they were they were sick. So that's just pff, mind-blowing to me. Uh, I can't even imagine what the show would have sounded like if they were 100%. Because I feel like how could it have gotten better? It's so good. Listen, there's a couple things I wanted to mention that... I love about this show the fact that they kind of had some choreography happening throughout the show like Danny and Ale had their moments together when Danny had any type of guitar solo Ale would walk to the drum kit put a foot up on it and just kind of chill in the background to let her have her moment I really appreciate the lighting that happened during the show to give them all their own moments I especially loved how this song Narcissista opened with Ale just playing her bass and then Danny just appearing out of nowhere. I thought that was such a great idea. I thought that was so cool. I just love the way they're planning out these shows and even in Pomona. 
Allie and Danny had a little bit of uh, choreography with some hair flips and things. So I appreciate that because yes, they're all individuals. Yes, they all have their own moments on stage, but it's kind of nice to see them interact more together because it's, you know, they're working hard, you know, they're singing, they're playing their instruments. And it's just nice to see them connect on stage, even if it's just Danny turning her head to pow and smiling. These are the moments I think fans really love the most. And I think they're just the best moments to just make sure they're still happy on stage. And I think this show was a huge point in their career. And I'm just really happy for them. Oh, that took a long time to do. This whole Pepsi show took me forever. Damn, maybe I should piece together all my reactions in one video. (laughs) That would be pretty funny, actually. But yeah, this was great. I honestly thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I'm just in awe of the way, like their workmanship. It's crazy that they were sick and they killed this performance. It was phenomenal. (sighs) I'm so impressed. Um, guys, you are watching this video and I released two other videos, so go check them out. But today is the day I see the warning in Toronto. Insane. Insane. I don't know how to feel because it's technically Monday. It's really early Monday. (laughs) But, um, when this goes live, it's Wednesday. So, um, just, I really hope everyone is healthy in the band. I hope everyone is at the meet and greet. I hope they sound phenomenal. I hope they surprise us with something because it is the end of the tour. They get to rest after this, which I want nothing more for them to get as much rest as possible before they start touring all over again. Um, You know, they might start writing new music. They might, hell, be featured on some other band's album. You never know what could happen. So I'm really excited I get to watch the final show in Toronto. Like, it makes my heart so happy. For them to even think about doing the last show in Toronto is just really sweet. Maybe they're feeling bad because the last show they did here, uh, you know, Danny was really sick. So maybe they just wanted to do it again one more time. And plus, they are in London the night before, so it's not that far of a drive. So I'm just very thankful. I can't wait to meet all the subscribers that are showing up. I can't wait to hang out with my friends at the show. I'm just really excited. So wish me luck in meeting the warning. I bought them some presents, so I will share that information with you guys during my concert vlog, and I'll try to get it up either Thursday or Friday for you guys, because I don't want you to have to wait forever for a concert vlog. Let's talk about my vinyl of the day, which is not a vinyl of the day, but mm, Grey Wind, okay? Grey Wind. Grey Wind is doing something on their Instagram where they're uh, getting you to sign up to purchase their vinyl afterthoughts which is mind-blowing because I think I've been bugging them for over a year that I would love to own this on vinyl because it's just one of my favorite albums and it's happening and I'm stoked so you can pre-order a vinyl if you sign up um I think through their Instagram link so go check that out I'm not really sure how to do it but I got my email today saying I can pre-order their afterthoughts vinyl and I'm just shocked that I, it, I I ordered it. I'm just, uh, if you haven't listened to Grey Wind, please go listen to that album, Afterthoughts. It is absolutely stunning. Steph's voice, the melodies, the lyrics, it's just such a beautiful album. So I'm really excited because I get to see them live in December for the first time. They're opening for another band. Um, but probably the earliest show I'll ever attend because I want to see the opener. And will I stay for the main act? Not sure. Never heard of them. So we'll see how they do. (laughs) Thank you guys so much for watching this whole journey of the Pepsi Center with me. I really appreciate it. Go watch my video for the warning covering Alanis Morissette's You Ought to Know and the warning Danny from The Warning on stage with Hailstorm in Canada. I'll see you guys in my next video. Happy The Warning Wednesdays. And I'll see you in a couple days for my Toronto The Warning vlog.